Hello, 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 Tuta here coming in back and this part to bring you another video, or well, another uh, announcement. And as you can tell, I am a hell of a lot happier than what I was last time I made one of these announcements, or the first announcement as well as the other recordings. It is Thursday. Of course, obviously, I have not done a live stream because I just got home from flying back from South Dakota. We drove up there and then we flew back. And I have some good news! Finally, for once in our family's fucking life, when something bad happens, we finally get some good news! Fucking hell! Only took... Yeah, no, 12 years. Fuck. So, full story. My cousin was putting up a support in the mines. He was going to then drag the net that would catch the smaller rocks. The big, the support is there to keep the big thing, big the, the whole ceiling from caving in. And they pulled the net. Unfortunately, the support that was in the rocks shattered the rocks. The rocks just shattered. And a massive thing came down right on his face. Or his left side of his face. Shattered his hard hat. And cut the shit out of his eye. And when we first went up and saw him, his, oh, the bandage, and it, it just looked bad. And then we saw it, and evidently it was reported, it looked better than what it was. And so... The dumbass waited two days after the incident to go get emergency surgery. No, that's a big no-go. However, the nurse that was taking care of him, or the surgeon and doctor and all the, the people that took care of him, were really fucking good. After that surgery, they then wanted to keep make sure everything was sterile and everything, and finally were able to take off the bandage. At this point in time, well, actually not at this point in time, but when I last left, his eye was still swollen shut and he had 27 stitches. And the good news is, his skull, like the main skull features around the eye socket, was fine. The hard hat did its job in preventing any damage to the, the skull itself. Now the eye socket, or the pocket where the eye sits on the other hand, was not lucky. It cut his eye out. And so it was bad. And so it, and his eyelid obviously was sewn shut. To keep it from getting infected. And so he's going to have to get a prosthetic eyelid. A plastic. A, 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 a prosthesis for the eyelid. And it was. And since his eye pretty much came out of his fucking skull. It was. There was a slight chance that it might not have been severely damaged of what it first seemed. And but there was iffy that he may retain or get some vision back because he couldn't see out of it at all. That was gonna help that his, you know, eyelid was sewn shut. But now, as of today, he went in for an actual surgery, not emergency surgery, but surgery to try and start fixing and get everything back to normal. And what they found was fucking surprising. See, they had to take it they had to take his eye out to check and fix. Turns out his cornea retina the basically the optical visuals of the eye that lets you fucking see were intact. They were in fucking tack. Now, the eye is damaged at this point in time still. A fucking piece of... A mountain came in on top of his fucking eye. So, there's damage. It, the eyeball scratched. Now, I have myself have scratched my eyeball. And it is fixable. It can be fixed. It just fucking sucked. It hurt like hell. But there is now a decent chance. Decent to maybe above 50%, I would say. Chance. He will retain... He will go back to if not full vision, to the vision he had right before the incident. Which is really fucking good. And his 
facial features and everything still looks normal. Granted, he's gonna have a yeah, he's gonna have a scar going across his fucking eye. And let's be honest, kind of cool. But all things considered, the fact that he took a fucking mountain to the face. That's pretty fucking good. So, yeah. Finally, some good fucking news. And I'm back. So, uh, I already have pre recorded videos for obviously for today and tomorrow. Um, hell, probably tomorrow I'll record a uh, War on the Seas. Two videos. Because, fuck, I f I'm happy. I, f I feel like it, man, because I'm fucking happy as all hell. Oh, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm so good. I'm like, like oh, my, my, my. yeah, and um, <coughs> excuse me. Thanks for the support and words of encouragement towards my cousin. It mean it it, it, it means a lot. I'm 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 fairly certain it means a lot to him. And since I told him, hey, he quite surprised, and it means a lot to me that you guys were kind enough. To give him his your best wishes and all that. So, I want to thank you guys for that. But, uh, that's, that's all I got. Nothing but good news. F fuck yeah. <laughs> and at this point in time in life, I think we all need some good news. So, anyway, this is Two Taws saying thank you for listening on this quick six-minute thing of, um, information and news. Stay safe, and I hope to see you all in some of my other videos. And have an awesome... Awesome day.